In the last video, we showed a straightforward successful case being passed from robot to robot through Enate. One of the benefits of Enate is it also allows for the transition of work between humans and bots. This could be the case if there has been an exception in the process or an element of manual work required before a robot can finish the work. Here, Abby has not produced an output with a high enough confidence level. This output would need to be validated by a human. In this case, the validation station has been used through UiPath. However, in practice, this would be embedded within Enate itself. Once validated, the output is reflected in the case details as before. The robots will now go on to find that the customer exists but is inactive in the lookup table. This will raise a business exception and mark the action as unable to complete with the exception reason. Clicking into the parent, we can also see this reflected in the case actions and the case is waiting for attention. This appears on the home page as well. Here we can set the customer as active in the lookup table, which in practice could be an agent making a phone call to validate the customer or some other manual action. Once the customer information is updated, the agent can go back into the case and choose to rework it starting at the point where the robots fail to complete. The action is then marked that it's on the second attempt and can either be picked up again by a robot or by an agent. In this case, it is reworked by a robot, which now updates the case details to mark the customer as active and completes the action. As before, the robot then generates a letter of approval and it attaches it to the case on Enate, then sends it back to the customer, which concludes the process.